We're going with the actual crazy stuff. I mean, we're going to with the actual crazy stuff. So please make sure that you uh, don't have your speakers at full volume. I will make sure that this, uh, this is not in, in, in full blasts. This is the first one. And in fact, this happened when I had the problem with the audio and I was fixing it. I was pitched this one. So I, this was not included in the original uh, show that we were going to have. So we have the privilege to well, enter the actual mass meltdown of the leaves. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Why, why, why? <laughs> why, why, why? Do you really hate me that bad? No, no. In fact, no, we, we don't hate you. It's, it's, it's like we, we, uh, we just voted. We just voted. You see, this this is the moment that her soul like left her body like for a split second, and then uh, it said, "Should I should I come back? Should I come back? Should I do this? Should I spend this time again?" I mean, why? My question is, why do they have to record themselves and then post it online for everybody to see? What is the point of that besides a narcissistic exercise of self-absorption in which they don't know any other way to channel their emotions than to make it available for the whole world to see? What kind of mental illness is this? How do we prevent this? How do we fix this? I just woke up and saw the results. I swear to God I'm done with you self-hating, disgusting, racist bitches. Oh, this this was this is what this was the first one that I saw. Not gonna lie, I I laughed a lot with this one. Here it goes. This has no sound. I mean, why would you why would you record yourself doing that? It is my question. We have thanks to Miss G Reality Finding on X that uh, tagged me on this one. I'm sickened by this. I voted for Harris and Walsh. I am frightened. Yes, actually, I refuse to turn the TV on social media until this morning. I haven't been able to sleep for a week. I am not shocked that people fell for lies and voted against their own interest. Dictators are powerful in their ability to convince their followers to believe their lies. Are we really surprised that a majority of the population voted against their own interests? <sighs> These people are like that. They believe, they seriously believe that they know more about you than yourself. Yes, I thought better of us. Shame on me. And we have, well, we have all the all, all kind of reactions in here I'm going to try to keep this on a on a decent volume. Non-binary TikToker has shocking meltdown and cries over Trump's win. Is anyone else having a meltdown? Yes, like millions right now. Like psychiatrists, as I said, they're making bank big time now, right now, as we speak. I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to weep. I'm so stressed. Let's watch it. Just for, you know, entertainment. Um, is anyone else having a meltdown? I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to wait. I'm so stressed. How you can't look out into the world, into the people of this country, and see what's happening. No, it's, it's, speaking seriously, uh, jokes aside, I was telling you that regardless who won last night, regardless who won last night, either Donald Trump or Kamala Harris, it is concerning the amount of uh, mental illness, not only in the United States, but worldwide. You know that mental illness is closely tied to the woke mind virus. So that woke mind virus has to be eradicated, has to be destroyed. People need to reason for themselves. People need critical thinking. That is what, you know, that that's one of my goals with this uh, channel and with my videos to give you critical thinking and of course, entertainment every now and then, because, well, this is for free. And how hard we're all fighting for rights not to be taken away from people. This is better than any acting from Hollywood. The rights being taken away from people. I go from hysterically crying one minute over the pain of this situation and then 
hysterically crying the next minute watching so many people come together and yeah it, it 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 means that you have poor self emotional regulation in which you know how to channel your emotions you are overwhelmed by your emotions and you feel lost and all that you can do is just to think that maybe weeping maybe crying maybe screaming maybe punching a bag maybe screaming into the pillow uh nothing of that not none of that will work no, none of that will work. It will work only for a few seconds, but the emotions will overwhelm you again. What you need to address is what is the source of this? And the source of this is not really Donald Trump. The source of this is your own inability to grasp what is going on with your reality. And I have to say, the Democrats, and I'm going to talk about the Democrats as a whole, are a big part of that of that amplifying, of that mental illness, of that controlling people, of that making them, reduce them to a Trump derangement syndrome blob of jelly that cannot think, that cannot act, that cannot do anything. They, they have aimed, have uh, targeted the most vulnerable people in, in the United States and in the world at large to be able to fulfill their agenda. And that is evil. I mean, these people can be saved. I want to believe, I want to believe that these people can be saved. But it's going to take time and a lot of work and, of course, a lot of patience. And they have to realize and they, want, they need to put in the work. They have to realize that there is a problem with themselves. And especially, this is the first step, there is a problem with where do they get their information from? CNN, MSNBC, these are huge culprits, sinners of this. Um, they're, they're, they're guilty of this because they amplify this for clicks and viewership over and over again. The view, they are all uh, guilty of this. Women from around the world supporting us and cheering us on. I am 48 years old and I have never experienced anything like this and that, that is one of the problems that is one of the problems it's like when people talk about the january 6th insurrection you don't know what an insurrection is stop calling that an insurrection you have not lived you have lived in a country in which you are essentially privileged and protected about everything no matter what your gender and race or beliefs are. You live in the effing United States of America. You cannot be more free if you want it, if you practice. And you're complaining, oh my God, you want to play the victim because your life is so gray that you need some kind of passion or drama or anything to make it worth living, but in a negative way. It is so, it is so pathetic that again, the Democrats and the media are guilty of something that these people are guilty of just letting themselves go in this downward spiral of self-victimization and they like it and they like it and they like, they, they like how it feels. Oh, I'm oppressed. I'm oppressed. I am like, I will be like the handmade stale. It's it. I, I'm, we are going to go down in this uh, deep hole of uh, not democracy and tyranny and all. These people are truly lost. And they are also responsible of that. Make no mistake. They are also responsible Never of that. Never thought I would in this country. It's like... It's like I can feel... And w Why are we finding out about this? Why should we find out about this? I, 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 I shouldn't... I, I, I shouldn't... I, I don't know. I should be analyzing anything else. But I need to talk about this. It's not only... In fact, it's not only about, uh, it's not about making fun of people, because these people are generally suffering, which is uh, quite odd when you find out why are they suffering. This, this are, there are things in life worth suffering for. This ain't it one of them. I'm going to call it, this is not one of them. And if you really wanted to be, you know, empathic with um, Latinos, for example, you could go to Venezuela and live um, perhaps uh, one month in Caracas, um, 
may, maybe you can maybe you can try. You you will come back a renovated woman, a, a different person. That's I guarantee you that. You will come back a different person. It's much better than eat, pray, love, going to India. No, go to Caracas. Go to Caracas. I, I invite you. I don't make myself responsible of you following up on this advice. Please, this is not tourism advice. And my attorneys are, you know, it's a really, they know what I say and what can be, um, uh, what, what can I be tied to. And no, if you go to Caracas, that's on you. The pain and the fear. You have an iPhone with internet connection and electricity and, 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 and a, a tattoo parlor next door where you can have all the tattoos you want. What more could you want in life? From every single person. I don't know how to handle this. I don't know how to get through the next <laughs> couple days. Maybe scrolling, maybe scrolling. That would, that would have, scroll. Cat videos. That's something that works for me. Go for cat videos. That, that, that just works wonders. But uh, that helps me a lot. I just uh, follow this account of why you should have a cat. And I just get distracted from that like three minutes and just like you. Uh, who knows how long this is going to take? Four years. Is anyone else helping a meltdown? Millions. I don't know. <laughs> I can tell you there's a lot of people in here. The left is losing the plot over Trump's win. And this is one of the most, uh, let's say, uh, philosophical. It gets uh, really, really... I will really... make it my life's mission, my dying wish, that none of you weirdos can hide in the future. Okay, you're going full Liam Neeson. I like it. Taking part four. You can't lie to your kids. You can't lie to your grandkids about, oh, it was, it was so confusing. It was hard to see the truth. No, it, was not, it wasn't hard. It wasn't hard. If you just... If you just did this, you were like, la, 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 you shut up and put your hands away from your ears and listen and watch the actual videos of Donald Trump with the very fine people and the bloodbath and all that, maybe you could have realized that the Democrats, yeah, the Democrats were lying to you all the time and it was not hard to see the truth because this, this videos, like one minute or two minutes, they, they, they fit your attention span with, uh, you know, that... that uh, tell me that uh, I cannot have much of uh, many high expectations expectations about your attention span, but one or two minutes, maybe once a day, in two weeks, you would be cured about all the hoaxes. But, well, you you chose uh, another thing. It was thing. hard to see the truth. That he was so convincing. I will not let you get away with that. <laughs> like that was not normal this is not normal i will make it clear to everyone like i will make sure no one is confused about how things were right now in okay what is a woman because the way that you answer that kind of questions that confuses me and you want to work that out i want to listen to your answer what is a woman and then we can this talk. very vital, crucial time in American history that it was not confusing. It was not confusing at all. You just stood for that. You stood with that and for that. Like That's exactly what happened now. Um, people who voted for Kamala Harris stood for something. Whatever. Kamala Harris being a black Asian woman, first black Asian woman president, whatever. And, well, whoever voted for Donald Trump stood for... Uh, you know what Donald Trump stood for. Uh, that's exactly what happened this time. I, I can't emphasize enough. There will be nowhere to hide. And uh, that is great. Um, history is going to look back on this and look back on you in a very negative light. Notice how she's not only uh, has this uh, narcissistic approach to filming herself and posting that online. She is uh, making it clear that she holds the ultimate truth. I know what happened. You're not going to hide. You're not going to say that you were confused. I know. I know all the layers of what happened. And I'm going to uh, prosecute you or pursue you. I don't know how to say that. So she is essentially saying that she's right. She's right above all. That's the kind of people that we are dealing with. But we are not done yet. 
We are not j done yet. This liberal is almost in tears. She's confused and wants insight into how Trump won with votes. That's how Trump won. And we'll be talking about votes in a minute as well. I'll help her out. Your candidate sucked. So it's almost 2 a.m. Pacific time, which means it's well after polls have closed. And I am still just genuinely confused as to what happened. So if anyone wants to offer some insight. Well, there's insight. You have two candidates. You have people who went to the uh, uh, polls and they voted and then they counted the votes. And it happens that Donald Trump had more votes than Kamala Harris. That, that is pretty much it. I think that's not simple enough. I think. Um, I'm happy to fucking take it. What? Lady? That's I mouth. also think that maybe what I've noticed is that men are just genuinely not as concerned as women. No, we are we are so back, baby. We're so back. We are we are the, the extreme opposite of being concerned. We are happy that the bro era has begun again. And don't quite take our concerns as seriously. No, I I wonder why. And I don't know, that fucking sucks because I met a lot of women tonight who are just genuinely so fucking scared. I don't know if she's got some, I don't know, so she's, she smoked some, some pot before um, filming this video. Karenism, yeah. I, th I think that that, is a, that should be in the DSM, DSMV of, uh, of psychological stuff. Karenism, et al. Um, so yeah, let me... Yeah, I'm, I'm sure that your, your comments are going to be full of... Uh, of um, People in the same condition. Oh, girl, you go. This this was a bit of a hint. I didn't want to be sexist and include a few gentlemen. But again, I cannot play this uh, sound because it has a song. But uh, I'm going to I'm going to. Oh, this is uh, I have to mute it because I'm going to be copyrighted by YouTube. Oh, there you go. Oh my God, I'm going to feel myself crying. Then I feel myself crying and say that we lost this. This cannot be happening. This cannot be happening. And no, notice this, this was my effort. I looked for a man. I think that he's a Latino, I guess. It is my guess. Um, so I'm I'm diverse as well in my in my channel. I'm fair. I'm diverse. And he was he was crying. Because men are allowed to cry. Now this lady coming. Ah, next, this is a bit uh, difficult. It's gonna be um, a bit too much, maybe if they are children in the room, make sure that they are not in the room right now or cover their, their ears because this is going to be... This is a girl allegedly uh, shouting to her boyfriend over that her boyfriend voted for Trump and she's a bit upset. Let's say that more than a bit upset, but I could not... Feel, well, just watch the video first. I cannot wait until someone puts some death metal into this. I'll just shut the fuck up for good now, huh? Yeah, you fucking want that? Yeah? We are fucking over, you fucking dumbass. I, I mean, I, I, I'm not going to keep playing this because this is the moment that it seems performative. Like if this was, you know, the, the switching of the camera and she is screaming that into the phone. It's, it's like, I, I don't know, if, if this is for real, it is concerning. If it is not, it is concerning as well because you're playing like if you are crazy as F and both the scenarios are not good like at all. Like at all. And this one, this next guy, this is a trigger warning. I'm sorry. <laughs> trigger warning. Please share your favorite meltdowns. Leilani Doubting. I start with this one. I don't think, uh, I don't think that he is into make America healthy again. I can't believe Trump's actually going to win this fucking thing. Oh, Jesus Christ, I'm so pissed off. Fuck, 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 God damn it. I said we we were going to be, we were going to be. One, one last, one last um, example here. This, uh, I didn't watch this last one. I don't know how this goes. I'm going to react this live to you. 
The meltdown has begun. This Harris supporter thinks she's not going to have any rights tomorrow. Let's see how she deals with the pain. But by the way, it, uh, I have to, I have to I have to say this. It is interesting that she's got a shirt of The Shining by Stanley Kubrick, and you remember that Stanley Kubrick's daughter, she en fully endorsed Donald Trump. Isn't that isn't that complicated? Is, isn't that a it's uh yeah I'm I'm that kind of nerd. I'm that kind of movie nerd. We may not have rights tomorrow. N nothing. So no, you're gonna, gonna go be to imprisoned. We fought a good fucking fight, and if it turns out that you know shit flips, you know, great, hell yeah. But right now, I'm just not. No, it's it's not gonna flip. It's not gonna be great. You have to deal with it. <laughs> I can't fucking deal with this shit right now. Do do all these ladies speak like this? 